anybody, but I got some parts for the bike and a couple hours to myself tonight, so I figured I would work on some stuff down here in the basement. I got the master cylinder cleaned up pretty good for sitting outside for so long. So what we're going to be doing is uh, the level window was on the verge of leaking. Uh, I already pried it out because I'm impatient and I didn't take video, but um, it was really easy to get out. It just I just jammed a screwdriver in there, pried it out, popped the the actual window popped right out. And then the, the ring kind of comes out after it, and then there's an O-ring behind it. So all those pieces kind of came out pretty easily. Uh, I got this from eBay, and it was like a few dollars, maybe three or four dollars. And supposedly, it's basically the exact same thing that came out. And after measuring it with the calipers, it looks like it's pretty close, if not exact. I bought two of them because I'm bound to completely destroy this one and that's the first thing I'm going to do is try to get this in. It's definitely going to be an interference fit. So the videos online about installing these things, I believe they just show them being hammered in. I just tried to use a little block of wood and my little vise and it did not work out at all. <laughs> also, I'm afraid the camera is going to fall off when I start beating on this thing. Okay, that is an extremely, extremely <laughs> tight fit. I might be ordering another one of these. Let's try one good pop. Oh, that's looking better. That probably really sucks for everyone listening to this, but my apologies. All right, we are, I think we're good. That looks nice. Check that out. Of course, this camera doesn't focus. Ooh, I'm gonna need to work on this setup if I ever do this again. Nice and flush inside up against the o-ring, shouldn't leak. So the next thing I'm going to do is put the master cylinder rebuild kit together. Let's get rid of all this junk. So here's the old plunger and spring and umbrella seals. And this is the new one from Honda. There should be no surprises, this should be exactly the same. Um, comes with a new e-clip which I do not have snap ring pliers for, so we're gonna be forcing that on. <laughs> uh, that's the washer for the clip. So I believe these seals go on this way, and I think they're both the same. Of course they're not the same. All right, don't judge me, but I'm putting on a glove. The uh, best thing to use for lubing up the new parts here is brake fluid and I just don't want to get it all over my hands. Okie dokie, so I think we'll do the smooth one first. I have to somehow reef that over all of that. 
I've done this before. Oh, I see a difference now. This one's got a smaller diameter hole than this one, so that's why this one has to go on here and that one there. That makes sense. So I've done this before a long time ago, and um, it's been a long time. <laughs> I, I think, you know, I'm pretty sure I just got to reef it over this over this thing, and this, this should, you know, it should stretch. I know in my head that it should stretch, but it still makes me nervous. I don't know why I just put one glove on. Yep, this is as big a pain in the butt as I remember it. I think I'm going to need to get a little pick in there and kind of help it over. Okay, we're over the first hurdle. This one's not so bad. There we go. Home free. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Just needed to use that little pick tool there to help get it over that. This big hump here. That's it's huge. There we go. Okay, and then the spring goes on this end. Just lubing everything up with some brake fluid here. Brake, uh, horrible, horrible brake fluid. All right, first seal went in, no problem. Second seal went in, no problem. Now the fun part. Washer, clip, okay, I think I got it. Should probably put a little bit of grease on that. Here's the uh, clutch switch. I don't remember. I think it just slides off of here. Yep, there we go. Already done a bunch of clean out on this, but you can see it's still gnarly. Um, not entirely sure how far I'm going to go with it, but I know one thing's for sure it needs some help. There's my new pistons for the caliper. Looks like them, looks like the right ones. Just no pits. No pits and rust. Let's see, I also got a new. Should show you what parts I got. I got a new bleeder because this one. I tell you, 
and this this applies to more than just bikes and what I'm working on, but this thing was so gelled up, the brake fluid in it, literally, the brake fluid that was in here almost made me vomit. Like it came out like a like a like a glob. It was so disgusting. Like I I, I can't believe I even considered driving this bike with with these brakes like i i can't believe i even thought to myself oh if i can bleed the brakes it'll be fine because there's no way no way in hell that would have ever worked so i got new pistons new boots for here a new boot for over here i kind of just they were cheap enough a few bucks and then of course the new um seals for in here so what I really have to do is just scrub this freaking thing. I'm going to need something more aggressive here. I'm impatient. Oh, that seemed to work well. A little squirt of brake cleaner in there and then taking this brush and just going to town clean those grooves right up. No, it didn't. It's still grungy in there. Oh, man. I tell you, the worst thing you can do for cars or motorcycles is let them sit. You let them sit, and then stuff like this happens... I'm trying to be careful how aggressive I'm going with this because I don't want to take aluminum off. I also don't want to take a freaking wire wheel to the eye here. Okay, that's doing the trick. This is just this has just been a nightmare. Whew. That I might have to do somewhere else. That made a mess. <laughs> what also is a bummer, I don't think my second camera recorded anything. Alright, first things first. I want to get pistons back in this thing. So, big seal first. I'm putting these in dry. because the seal needs to be between the piston and this gasket not the not necessarily the gasket and the body that's going to seal fine that went in incredibly easy I'll tell you what I want to start my other camera I can't believe it didn't record son of a gun Jeez. Okay, that seals in. This one has a groove but doesn't seem to have an orientation at all. So we're just going to stuff it in. So there's no real trick to getting these in there. You just have to get a get them started on one side. So once you get it started, you just kind of feed it in there. Until she snaps in. Good to go. Again, this gasket's got a groove, but no indication of which way it's supposed to go. So we're just going to slam it in there. I think I read somewhere that they were square. I was able to get my brake line clean, even though that was gummed up as all heck, too. So lube everything up with brake fluid. Here comes the piston. Lubing it up with brake fluid. That should do it. Just go ahead and stick her in.
open side out. And you can't, oh, you can go straight in. Okay, that went in there pretty easy. Heck of a lot easier than they came out. I guess that was good enough reason to really polish up these areas here because I had to slide the piston through to get it lined up. Okay. They're in. Uh oh. You know it's going to be fun bleeding these brakes. That's going to be a rip real treat because this will be a bone dry brake system so I'll probably let it gravity bleed for a little bit and then and then uh, see what's what so I got some factory Nissan pads here uh, so that's good got some factory pads I think they go like this. Yes. All right. Let's go like this. Does that look right? And then this goes on here, and then that is like an anti-rattle. Yeah, there we go. It's got to be it. That's what I'm doing. If it's wrong, it's wrong. No, really, I'll check it first. Not too much grease. You can over grease these. Put some suction on there. Holy mackerel! Is that how that's supposed to be? I guess they only move that much. Okay. There's one. What I'm using is some of this Sil Glide brake lubricant. This is stuff you kind of get. You get it um, at AutoZone in those little $1 packets. Well, I love this stuff. Um, I, I use it. I don't use that orange stuff that you can get that also is supposed to be like brake squeal stop or whatever. Do not. I do not use that stuff. This stuff works great. Okay, so they're in there. 